The Kentucky Historical Society is home to several items in her archive that have the reputation of being haunted. So does the conjured chest live up to its name? The story of this artifact begins about 1830. Uh, John Graham is uh, expecting a son. And in order to prepare for that, he wants to have a chest made. And he asks an enslaved man on his property uh, to, to create this chest. It's a beautiful mahogany veneered uh, chest of drawers with uh, acanthus leaves and beautiful Greek uh, scroll work on the column. Uh, a beautiful chest. But for some reason, uh, Graham did not like the chest. And he actually killed the enslaved man that had built the chest, a man named Remus. Um, Remus's friends and family that were also enslaved by the Graham family um, rebuttaled. They took the blood of an owl and sprinkled it on the chest, thereby cursing the chest so that anyone that used it afterwards would die. And the story continues on through 18 different deaths associated directly with the, with the mahogany chest, the cursed chest. What we know about the chest came from Virginia Carey Hudson Cleveland as a precocious Victorian era child who loved to write down her grandmother's stories. Additional family generations carried the story forward, including the bizarre and lengthy ritual to break the curse. So we know about this, not only through the writings of Virginia Carey Hudson, but in the top drawer of the chest to this day, there is an owl feather and a little note that says it's to keep away the curse. Um, so this, this story that had a very tragic uh, list of people that lost their lives as a result of it, Virginia wanted to, um, as she passed it down to her daughter, she wanted to keep it out of the hands of anyone else that could possibly accidentally put clothes in it. And so they um, donated it to the Kentucky Historical Society in 1976 in hopes that no one would ever place clothes in it again. So after all these years, it's been on display and uh, been stored here in our collection storage. Our staff is sure to make sure we never put anything in that chest of drawers. To learn more, visit us online at history.ky.gov. From the Kentucky History Center and Museums in downtown Frankfurt, I'm Doug High.